Are you someone who's been looking for a gas piston operated AR type weapon but didn't want to spend the money that your SCAR costs, a Bren costs, or any other long stroke piston or short stroke piston design costs? The PSA Jackal might be just right for you. I know for us here at Hunt Fish Shoot, the price point that this comes in at, at just a touch over $1,100, is a flat out steal for what we can see thus far with this weapon system. The fit and finish on this PSA Jackal is absolutely fantastic. It's quite easily probably the best fit and finish I have seen on a PSA product yet. It is right up there with all of its top competitors. The design that this uses with the monolithic upper receiver and then a lower handguard portion here that has M-lock slots all the way across is very, very slick and smooth. It's coated with a very nice FDE Cerakote on here, and it's smooth, well-finished. I don't see any rough edges or anything like that. The pick rail across the top feels good. No sharp edges on there. Again, this, I have to tell you guys, this is truly the best I have seen yet from PSA. They truly took out all the stops in making this weapon system. And it's something different in the departure from everything else they've made, as well as most manufacturers. Again, like I said, we have the SCAR out there, you have the Bren, then you have some of your regular piston-operated ARs. A lot of times with those piston-operated ARs, they're generally formed to be a little bit heavier, which is generally the case because the operating system is gonna be heavier. I will call somebody out. Recently, I saw a review of this weapon itself. This is a 10 and a half inch barrel, okay? It's a chromoly vanadium steel barrel, so it's gonna be a little bit heavier. The system, everything with this rifle, lends it to be a heavier pistol size AR type weapon. However, this is not heavy. I cannot sit here, pick this weapon up and shoot it the little bit I've done so far getting it zeroed and say that this thing's heavy. Saying this thing's front heavy when you're punched out on it is not an issue. I don't see it personally whatsoever and especially having optics on here, Hollow Sun 510C here on the rear with a Hollow Sun magnifier. It feels really, really well balanced. Recoil impulse feels very good. A couple of the finer points that you really find with the Jackal, the charging handle itself is a non-reciprocating charging handle. Scars have a non-reciprocating charging handle now, but for years you were paying three grand for a rifle that if you hit your thumb on there, you jam the rifle. This rifle out of the gate, non-reciprocating. Smooth operating system, the bolt itself feels nice and smooth on here. It just, it really feels really, really great. I gotta be honest. And then with the Jackal, if you buy the full bottle versus just the upper, because this upper will actually fit on any AR-15 lower, you can retrofit it and put it on there. You don't need a special lower. Any AR-15 lower will work. But if you get the full rifle or full pistol here, you actually get this, like I said, Cerakote, everything matches. It's then engraved on the lower little Jackal symbol on there. And also will say too on your lower Jackal. Equipment wise on here, feature set, it looks like there's a polished nickel Teflon type trigger. It's a standard mil spec, it seems good enough. I probably would change it out, which that's what's nice about these, is you can change these out very, very easily, just like you would a regular AR-15 trigger. But this one's a little bit heavier. The safety on here. The safety is a standard right-handed shooter's safety selector. No difference there, no 45, nothing like that. But again, you can switch it out and put whatever you want on there because this takes AR-15 controls. A knock I have on this rifle already that I've noticed is that with the charging handle and how it's set up, I would really like to see in the future an ambidextrous bolt release. Okay, it's a little bit of a tough and wonky situation when you're going to lock the bolt back and how you have to do it because sometimes even with your QD slot here, you see my sling kind of gets in the way. It's a little bit odd, okay? It's not necessarily hard to do per se, but it's something that takes a little bit more effort to do than your standard AR where you can kind of hit the thumb release, pull it back to your charging handle, and it's pretty easy. Outside of that stuff though, guys, this thing so far shoots great. It's flat shooting, it's easy to shoot, and this is an excellent suppressor host if you're somebody that wants to suppress the weapon. This model being chambered in 5.56, there is talk that they're gonna come out with a 300 blackout model, and I think that that will be killer, especially with this. You do have a Magpul MOE grip on here, which I'm a big fan of those grips. They are nice, they feel good. When you get to the upper on here, with this like this, it actually has a Picatinny rail here on the back to which this SB triangle folding brace adapter fits on. Okay, this brace on here is nice. Uh, really, it, quality's good, SB makes good stuff. The rear, you have a QD socket here in the rear. 
It is not an anti-rotation type, which I don't have any issues with that. It seems to be working out just fine so far today. And then in the front, you have one here at your three o'clock and your nine o'clock position. Nothing across the bottom, the standard M-lock slots, like we said before. Guys, I can't really say it enough just looking at this rifle and how well the fit and finish is and how good everything looks on here in general. It's just a really, really well-made rifle and it looks well-made. And, you know, really, to show you the truth, these are fairly new rifles. Just as a Gen 1, they just came out with these pretty recently. They have been hard to get at times. But we, we saw one on PSA's website and scooped it up so we could come out and give you guys a good quality review. We're going to shoot the crap out of this thing today and we'll let you know how it fires. Dream big, cause boy, you're going to make it. Stand tall, there's a higher road you're taking. Let go of everything that you know and be wild in the mystery. I've been in the darkness for 40 days. I've been to uh, cover something for you guys real quick. You'll see on my hand I have some powder, let's say burn. I'm not getting burnt or too hot or anything like that. I'm getting a lot of powder blow off here, gas blow off here. No issues, like I said, like from holding the gun up there. I'm not getting hot. I'm not getting burnt. The charging is not smacking me or anything like that. I just want you guys to be able to recognize and see that, that when I get a full handed grip up here on the front, around it like a C-clamp type style, I am getting some powder there on the, uh, the heel of my palm. I don't feel like it's getting too hot. We'll reevaluate as we shoot today and see what happens. I'll be called a righteous man before. Yeah, I've been closer to Jesus before. So can you help me out? Oh, can you help me out? We're finished up shooting today with the PSA Jackal. Flat out awesome rifle. This is the piston gun for the hardworking blue collar American. It really is. On here, I talked about gas blow off out here where the piston ends, hand black and dirty. However, no burn, it's not hot up here. 150 rounds through it here in just less than an hour. Okay, running a few different drills. I'm gonna go over the only real complaint that I really have at this point that Bolt release on here, not a big deal. Back here on the rear, this QD socket and spot is bad. Okay, and I have to say that because with the sling, no matter how tight I make that sling, I still found myself on the grip portion right there, catching the QD socket itself and hitting my palm and upper part of my thumb against it. However, if that's something to complain about, so be it. I have no other complaints with this rifle. It just shoots absolutely awesome great shooter easy to shoot and will make one hell of a suppressor host so if you guys like it i think you should definitely get one my personal opinion it's probably the best value on the market for a long stroke piston gun but if you guys like what you saw today please like comment subscribe and most importantly check us out next time